Welcome to the AI Timeline Episode 12, featuring Eureka, NVIDIA's latest breakthrough in training robots using AI agents. Published by the same team that made Voyager, a Minecraft AI which built houses better than me, they are now back with a brand new research that has proven AI agents can do things other than solving toy examples. But first, what really is an AI agent? Well, the truth is, uh, no one really knows now. The term has been abused so much that it's now just a cool casual term for people that use more than and one AIs in their project. As for the general underlying mechanisms though, it usually refers to having an AI LLM in performing some tasks that originally human does like choosing hyperparameters, or something like having multiple instances of ChatGPT to interact with each other in order to achieve a certain complex multi-step task. So there can be a reasoning instance, a coding instance, an organizing instance, which takes each other's output as inputs, and so on. And by utilizing this mechanism, them, they were able to get the AI agents to perform tasks that are too complex for a typical reinforcement learning agent to do, like getting diamond tools or building a house in Minecraft. Eureka then took a similar method into the next level, applying it to train fine motor skills that require high dexterity, like spinning a pen for a robot. Have you seen this clip of a robot hand solving a Rubik's Cube? While it can certainly solve it without any problems, the hand would always look really clunky when handling the cube. These fine-grained robot motion problems stood still in progress because the amount of small and complex motions needed, aka dexterity, is heavily required to produce something smooth and natural like a human hand. And manually writing tons of reward functions to accurately tell the robot if they're doing the motions correctly or not is kind of impossible back in the pre chatgpt era. But things have changed. This is what they can do thanks to GPT-4. Amazing, isn't it? Well, of course, the Eureka is performing the task in a simulation, which might be an unfair comparison, but the method that it used and the result it has produced is definitely something way more natural than what OpenAI has back in 2019. How Eureka has done this is that it takes in a starter environment source code and a task description as a zero-shot context for GPT-4 to generate some reward functions, then iterates it between reward sampling, reward evaluation, evaluation, and reward reflection to infinitely improve its reward functions and outputs. So instead of humans writing the reward functions, these AI agents become the ones that performs these hyper-optimizations. This pretty much solved the fine-grained motion tasks that were previously not feasible by manual reward engineering. And it can achieve human-level performance on reward design too, or even better, 83% of the time. On top of that, all these optimizations were done through words alone. Imagine what it can do if the AI agent can and see. Applying GPT-4 vision might be an interesting future direction too, but if you do insist on providing some human feedback so at least we don't go obsolete, Eureka can also perform RLHF reinforcement learning from human feedback, just like what we can do when training LLMs. So here, without RLHF, the best reward model just looks like a Titan from Attack on Titan running, disregarding any logic. But with multiple iterations of RLHF to improve the reward codes from tasking it to maintaining an upright torso to resemble a running motion in iteration 2, more reward for standing and penalized duck walk behavior in iteration 3, discourage hopping in iteration 4, and lastly to remind the AI agent it accidentally removed the penalty for low torso motions in the reward function for iteration 5, we can easily instruct and edit reward functions in natural language which is really convenient. The official demo didn't perfect the RLHF though, so after the 5th iteration, it feels like it still runs slower than the method without RLHF. But with this research, natural motions can be massively replicated thanks to AI agents being capable of generating and perfecting reward functions with barely any human inputs, so that robot hands can soon move as smoothly as me segueing into my outro. Yeah, thank you for watching, a big shout out to Andrewless Chilias. Alex J, Chris Ledoux, Alex Maurice, Miguelim, Deacon, Fifal, Daddy Wen, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one.